So today is November 3rd, 2021, and uh, I'm out here on my own property today. Uh, got this nice, nice field out here, and I'll be using a Whirly Bird clay thrower, uh, and also I'll be using my 12 gauge today, and I'll be using some uh, 12 gauge 8 shot. It's supposed to be game loads. By Remington and uh, I'll be using this American Arms 12 gauge over and under I got the uh, improved cylinder on the bottom on the under and I've got uh, the uh, mod modified on top yeah. Those, those were my wife's earmuffs there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but a, a little more about this gun. This is American Arms Silver II, an old shotgun, but it's got nice engraving, and it's got auto ejectors. It's got nice wood grain stock, laminate, kind of shiny, uh, but it's wood. It's a pretty nice gun. And uh, let's uh, let's see what we can do. Now, I, the last time I was out, I was hitting everything, but ever since then, man, it's been hit or miss. I've been humbled. <laughs> so, let's get at it. Can you even see me over there? Let's see. Let's try to get a better angle here. I'm by myself, so I'll be uh, pointing the targets, you know, all by myself here. So, here we go. One down. Is that a... Uh... Can't tell if you can see it kind of on a bad angle got one down and that's two in a row. The auto eject feature is nice. If you're on your own property and you know you can clean up they're all gonna be in one spot. Pretty much pretty much you know where they're gonna fall at. Uh Tell you, ain't no denying the accuracy with this one. You know, I'm still getting to know my new one. So, I'm going to shoot a couple more, then I'm going to try the 16. I'll show you that one. Got them all. Now, 
I'll tell you right off the rip, I'm not nearly as accurate with that 16. I don't know what it is, but uh, first of all, first of all, when I got it last week, the stock was too long, so I had to cut it and redo the butt stock. I still haven't uh, sanded this down and rounded it off yet, uh, but uh, the fit was a problem at first. But uh, it's fit good. All I have to do is like do a little, little uh, touch up on it, and uh, should be, should fit fine. But um, I mean it does fit fine. It just doesn't look like it should. I gotta get some 16 gauge. So really introducing you to the Trinity by TriStar. It's a, uh, it's a pretty little gun, 16 gauge. I mean. Got the same chokes in it. Got the uh, improved cylinder on the bottom and the modified on top. But I'm shooting uh, Rio. Shooting this Rio game load, which I had never heard of Rio before. I'm using the seven and a half shot, and uh, it's 1,300 feet per second. Uh, seems to be a a good, well made, and and everything, but tell you i miss a lot so trying to get good i'm trying to go on a trip up new jersey and and quail hunt and uh and and uh rooster tail hunt up there and uh, so i'm trying i'm trying to take my 16 gauge up there so we'll see enough talk let's load her up get the shooting Safety first. Got to protect these ears. Same skeet, same distance. Different result. I got to get a handle on this 16. As a matter of fact, I bought some new load. I'm probably screaming. I bought some new shells yesterday. I'm going to run in the house and grab them. And uh, we'll see if we shoot a little different. Come on, Max. Let's go get some new shells. Coming. Come on, buddy. Come here, buddy. I wish you could go get the shells for me. Start paying you then. <laughs> I'll be right back. Gotta get the hang of this thing. I went up to the house and uh, got the shells that I got. Me and the wife were down in Raleigh, Durham yesterday and uh, stopped in at the Cabela's and got this brand here, Herder's brand. I never heard of that before either, but they had 16 gauge, five shot, high brass, 1,280 feet per second. But before I shoot those, before I shoot those, I'm not going to be too hasty because I got some Remington seven and a halves, which seemed to me would be better for skeet. Uh, I got some Remington, which costs less. So let me, uh, <laughs> let me try these first. Uh, so well, let's see what it do. Yeah. I just want to compare the two. This is the Remington seven and a half. 
and this is the uh, Rio seven and a half. The speed, the speed is different. So like, the Remington is rated at 1200 feet per second and the Rio is rated at 1300 feet per second. It looks like the brass is a little higher. Oh, let me get my fingers out the way. The brass is a little higher on the Rio, which I reckon they put a little more gunpowder, a little more oomph on it. So I reckon that accounts for the extra 100 feet per second, but accuracy is the name of this game. Whoever one shoots accurate, that's the one I'm gonna keep using for skeet anyway. So let's see what we can do with this TriStar Trinity. Let's load her up. Remington 17, seven and a half. Let's go. Not even that time, but it took two shots. You know? <laughs> Just don't know. Ready, Mac? Two clean misses again. Ready? That's just downright humbling. I'm telling you, man. I gotta figure this thing out. Gotta figure it out. Let's try the high brass fives by Herders, by Cabela's. Let's try that. Well, these are number six shot. So, take it for what it's worth. We'll see. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go. Come on, pet. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. First shot with number sixes. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go. That one disintegrated. So did that one. All right, they kind of stayed out in the rain one day. <laughs> ah. I don't know. I'm 
Trinity. I mean, gonna have to experiment with some chokes, maybe. Uh, six, the sixes do shoot a little better. I mean, I mean, I'm hitting with the sixes, so uh, that may be, may be what this gun likes. You know what I mean? It may like sixes. You know, so. I got some low brass sixes in there. I'm, I should have brought them. So, listen. We're out here with the whirly bird. We're uh, shooting skeet. Man, uh, I'm loving it. I'm new to it. I'm loving it. Getting ready for a big bird hunt up in New Jersey with uh, with my buddy Frank. Uh, during the Thanksgiving weekend, we're gonna go up there and see family and everything. Uh, that's where all that's where it all started. But uh, man, this skeet shooting is wonderful. If you have not tried this, man, you gotta try this skeet shooting, man. Uh, it made me want to bird hunt. The reason why I got this uh, worldly bird skeet thrower is because i went rabbit hunting last year man i got embarrassed and <laughs> see man i gotta learn how to shoot things that are moving i'm a rifle guy you know put it in a scope let it stand still i'll get it but uh the shotgun thing is new for me you know so i'm i'm learning i hope you continue to watch and learn with me and laugh with me and let's have fun together